Hi, I'm Dean Klein, and we're here at the Micron Advanced Storage Technology Center, where we're going to meet Joe Jedlow and have him do a demonstration of the, our new PCIe uh, Washington uh, board, demonstrating some extreme performance and storage out of NAND flash memory. Let's go on in here and have a look at uh, what Joe has to say. Hello, I'm Joe Jedlow. I'm the director of Micron's Advanced Storage Technology Center. Today we're going to show you a few things about flash you haven't seen before. What flash can really do in a solid state drive. Can we walk by the wall of glory? Our patent portfolio. Uh, I can't get it all in, I'm sorry. I guess we're going to the little plaques up there, huh? Here we are, where it all gets done. <laughs> Alright Joe, what do we got? We have an Intel server, dual Xeons, 2 gigahertz, 8 cores, 2 SSD drives plugged into the PCIe slots. So these are not your typical vanilla SSDs. They are not. This is flash running at its optimal performance. What it can do, it's a little on fee 2 speed. Would you call it the rocky road of uh, SSDs or <laughs> mid-chip? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Processors. Memory with a fan on it too. That's intense. All right. All right, so we have Iometer running on this platform. Let's start it up, maybe. So we have a series of tests, different size transfers, 2K to 2 meg. We'll hit that green arrow. Show some results. There we are. 200,000 IOs per second. 2K byte random read. Did you say 200,000? 200,000. 2K? Yeah. That's what Flash can do when it's managed correctly. That's an incredible number. So let's take a look see where else we're going to head to. Well, we're running through a series of retests, and then we start up some random write tests, which have been inherently difficult for SSD drives. But Why is write so difficult for SSDs? Well, all the management that has to go along with flash, but if done right, we can get 80,000 random IOPS on a single drive, 150, 160,000 on a two-card solution. And what sort of uh, throughput are you seeing off these cards? About 800 megabytes per second per card. That's all? That's all. <laughs> and this card represents the two cards that you saw in our demo. So it has twice the flash channels, 16 channels of on 2 flash, and an 8x PCIe connector. This card will achieve the same IOP numbers and bandwidth numbers that the two cards are achieving in the current system. So over a gigabyte per second of bandwidth and at least 200,000 IOPs. Coming to you soon. 